Hello students, this is Mr. D. Phillips and I am making this video to show you how to use Edmodo, a communication, collaboration, and content creation app for your mobile device and also for any computer. First, we need to sign up. And if you've already used Edmodo, please use our group code, which is 63P3C6. And if you've already used Edmodo, just go in and sign in yourself. If not, please just make an account. It is very simple. I'm just going to make myself a username. I'm going to put in a password. Email is optional. Only use it if you and your parents wish to um, use that. And then I will type in my name. And that's pretty much it. The terms of service we can go over if you're worried about that. And here we go into the world of Edmodo. It's very nice. It welcomes me. And because you use my group code, you are now a part of my AP Biology group because you are a part of my AP Biology class. There we go. Show all. Oh, well, I'm only in one class right now. If you have more classes, AP History or Calculus, they'll also show up here. All right. Since this is the first time in Edmodo, it'll tell you um, a little bit about it. But if you notice that the teacher has already posted a few things here. All right, let's go down to the first thing that was posted. Oh, welcome to AP Biology. Your teacher is so nice to welcome you. And look at this, a post to what looks like a class web page. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's the textbooks we're using. Calendar's out of date for next year, but eh, it's probably still left over last year. Oh, no, there's a required novel to read. I better take a look at that. Oh, boy, okay, Immortal Life of Henry and Last. All right, let's go back to Edmodo. Here we go. We have an assignment here. Sign the contract. Okay. Well, there's a document. So we can take a look at that document. Um, it's asking me to save it so I can save it and I'll be able to grab that document. It's currently underneath my screencast recording thing here. I'm not going to be able to get to the document, but you're going to very easily be able to sign the contract. Basically, read over the syllabus. The syllabus is all of the procedures and the content of the course and everything you need to survive a course and sign the contract. Get it signed by your parents and get it signed by your instructor, which in this case happens to be me. Um, very simple there. And the due date is Friday. Um, I'm probably talking to you on one of the first days of school, so you have a couple of days to turn that in. And now, Mr. E. Phillips is also now asking the question, are you planning to take the AP exam in May? Some people are, some people know they're not. No, I just wanted to take this as a, an elective, and that's it. And, oh, look at that, I'm the first person in, the first person who voted, and so I'm 100% myself. Not everybody takes the AP exam, so I'll let you know that. It's not a requirement. Um, you do what you need to do. So that's what we have there for you. Um, you'll be able to type a note and send to, um, you know, different students. This would be other students in the class. This would be, of course, your instructor, uh, me, if you need to send the message. And if you're noticing, it looks a lot like Facebook, and it works all the same ways. Okay, you can upload a file. So if you have a lab report due or something that you needed to type up, don't waste all of your um, paper and ink and time. Save a tree. You know, just upload it from your files and send it up. If you want to send the link, if you want to save it to your backpack, it's all good. Any notifications you get, any new assignments will of course will um, pop up here. You can upload a picture, make sure it's school appropriate, um, and you know change your settings, not too much there. Um, but for now, the only other thing you want to take a look at is the parent code here. Um, I am going to be letting your parents know that there is a parent code out there for them. Um, so it might be best just to give it to them beforehand. You might be able to score a few points in that way. Um, but if I tell them first and they have to come home and get it from you, well, that's up to you. Um, so that they can keep track of everything that's going on as well. So hopefully Edmodo will be as easy to use. And of course, you know, use it in school at first. Um, you can download it to any mobile device and you'll be able to access course content and links and information just about anywhere that you are. Just remember, if you have any questions at any time, please make sure you ask me, either on Edmodo or in class. This has been Mr. D. Phillips for Edmodo, signing off.